Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. The risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss, is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. For more information, you can go to bookmap.com. There's a free trial for 14 days. Uh, this comes along with education. So you get the platform uh, for 14 days. You also get uh, access to the Bookmap Advanced Order Flow webinars that start in about a half hour. All right. There's also uh, access to the educational course, and the, the webinars support the educational course, and there's other resources as well. Okay, so uh, uh, if you're new to Bookmap and new to Order Flow, uh, no worries. Uh, you get the access to the platform and education uh, to get you um, uh, kind of uh, ready uh, to understand what uh, order flow is and how to trade it and integrate it into the way that you trade. All right. Any questions, uh, you can reach out, reach out to us at support at bookmap.com. Uh, let's, uh, let's take a look at bookmap.com here. Let's go up to the home page. All right. We'll click on explore. And uh, first there's an intro video here. Okay. Uh, and we'll just continue to scroll down. All right, so I, I, I would uh, recommend uh, watching this uh, intro video. It will give you an understanding of what uh, Bookmap is very quickly in just about a minute or, or two. Then uh, about Bookmap, you can uh, find out more about it here. Uh, obviously, the uh, free webinar link here it is updated every Friday, so you get access to the entire week next week. Understanding about the platform, its benefits, uh, there's a link here to the trial. Uh, some testimonials. There's Bookmap for Equities. Okay, this is uh, for the last like six months or so. We've had uh, Bookmap for Equities. If you guys trade equities, let me know. Uh, I can look at uh, and cover a few of them as well. It's pretty unique to see the equities and see uh, the order book. In fact, it's a really nice data feed with NASDAQ total view and last sale. Uh, it offers full depth of market. All right, this is a, a nice benefit here. Uh, there are many benefits with it, as you can read about it here. Uh, this is one of the uh, one of the best, or at least one that uh, I, I like quite a bit, uh, because you can see at uh, uh, at the cash open where larger traders. Well, you can see the book, and it updates uh, even if it's several dollars outside of current price. Uh, it's live, right? So you'll see where larger players are starting to to position their orders, All right? For example, I, I, I'll just uh, dive into it quickly here and we'll take a look at book map. Okay, let's look at Apple and let's zoom out. Okay, here's our 930 cash open. Here's the larger player right here, okay? This player has been waiting and providing liquidity up here in this market for quite a while. Look where price went, okay, right to it. These other, other traders layered in right at 9.30, right at the open here. They wanted to get their position in line. They wanted to be sellers in these areas and these areas up here as well. All right. This is a nice benefit. All right. Where are the targets? Well, right down here, 174, uh, right at the open, basically. Um, and um, we had initial move down and then a, and then a move up. But um, uh, anyway, uh, that's what I wanted to cover. Uh, we'll be looking at the NASDAQ today, but um, uh, that's the advantage that you get with a full depth of market. Okay? Now, uh, let's continue on down because connectivity. There are a few futures uh, connections here that offer a full depth of market as well, CQG and Rhythmic. Okay? Uh, some of the others, uh, they offer a limited order book. Uh, it is still excellent, though, uh, and still gives you a lot of insight. Okay, so uh, don't disregard that. Uh, it's just nicer to see uh, the full depth uh, for the reasons I just explained. All right, so you will need a data feed here uh, to connect to Bookmap. Okay, we don't, um, we're not a data provider, we're a software platform, all right? So if we scroll down a little bit further, uh, here's the pricing information and the 14-day free trial that you get, uh, and um, uh, there's Bookmap Basic, Advanced, and Quant. There's really only one version of Bookmap. That's Bookmap Basic. Uh, the Advanced it includes the one-click trading uh, right from the Bookmap chart and proprietary indicators that we developed 
to understand order flow. Okay, bookmap quant, you're able to connect to your own data feeds and do your own studies, etc. Okay, now if you're new here and you don't have a data feed or broker yet, you can uh, click here and um, well, let's just do that. Okay, and there there are uh, four different offerings here to get a uh, a free trial. Okay. Okay, if you want to go through the comparisons of what you're getting between the two different um, uh, uh, platforms here or the, the add-on features, so you can click here. Okay, this will take you to the uh, comparison and uh, you'll see what, you, what you're getting here. And if you scroll down to the bottom is where you start to see some of the differences. All right. Okay, well, that's the free trial. Uh, you can also follow us here on Twitter uh, at bookmap underscore pro. Uh, to get the latest update on uh, information here. Uh, and um, and then also there's our YouTube page. Okay, you can subscribe to our YouTube. Um, I would um, suggest watching some of these intro videos if you're new here. Uh, and then look at some of the features and components. This will get you kind of up to speed uh, of uh, what Bookmap uh, is, uh, how you're able to trade with it, uh, just the functionalities and the components, what is displaying and how to access it. Uh, and then these video snippets, this is where the rubber is going to meet the road. These are very concise uh, videos. They're snippets of um, a lot of the content that we cover in the advanced order flow webinars. Okay. So we go through, uh, uh, just uh, watch a few of these to gain an understanding of um, uh, what book map uh, uh, displays, the phenomena, uh, in these markets, uh, and um, uh, you'll uh, I'll probably gain a, a, a nice understanding of uh, really how to use Bookmap in your trading. All right. Okay. Well, let's jump over and look at the market here and what's going on. Okay. So for those of you new to Bookmap, we're looking at the Nasdaq E Mini here, and I'm zooming out. Okay, here's our 930 open. We can see the volume that picks up here. Um, oops, that's a little too far. Hold on. Okay. All right. So um, looking at the uh, the NASDAQ here now, this looks like a very complex chart. Okay. It's really not. There's uh, We do have a, a sub chart here uh, that was... Uh, uh, highly requested by our users, so we, we offered it. And this is a cumulative volume delta. Okay, uh, I'm going to close that up for now, and uh, we're going to go through uh, just the basics of Bookmap. Okay, what are, what are you seeing in this chart? All right, so uh, we'll compare this to a candlestick chart to begin with, because we do have candlesticks here, and I'm going to turn all of the other data off. Okay, because Bookmap is actually showing you here um, it. This this view here, this candlestick chart, conceptually, uh, is um, more advanced than what you're looking at in Bookmap with uh, all of the uh, different uh, types of data. Right? Conceptually, it is because this is a five-minute uh, candlestick chart. It's a five-minute period that is aggregated, and it's open, high, low, close of that five-minute period. Inside of this candle, we have no clue what happened. There's a lot of opaqueness in this chart. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, there's microstructures in here that are broken. And then we also see uh, the um, aggressor classification of volume, the, the aggressive market buy and sell uh, orders, okay, the order flow, uh, that um, uh, really make price move. Okay. Where do they trade? How much? Uh, and uh, what type of trader? Okay, all of that information is completely lacking here, right? So uh, that's where um, a book map can display it, all right? So we're going to just turn on historical best bid and offer. And what this allows us to do is start to understand microstructure. Okay, for example, uh, look at this little pattern up here. Okay, this is, this is uh, 15 minutes of data here, 5, 10, 15, okay? Uh, but um, we're really lacking uh, understanding of what happened here. Okay. In the uh, in the order flow, there's no question in the order flow. Okay, but uh, this starts to look like uh, a pattern we're all familiar with. Okay, 
well, this is basically a triple top, but uh, you know, more more like a double top. Let's call it a triple top. That's fine. I don't have a problem with that. Um, and uh, we're going to see a shift here in the order flow. Okay, we have no clue to that shift here. Looking at this candlestick chart. Okay, we do see here um, uh, the move to the upside. We see some buying pressure on the wicks, uh, but that's about it. Okay, what about the the uh, the volume that traded within this area? Okay, we see a spike down here, right? So uh, actually, this is going to show up on this candle over here. Uh, it's not going to. We're showing the uh, when it took place here, actually, between uh, 9:50 and 9:55 Eastern Time. Okay, so uh, we're already showing even with the subchart here with volume, it, it's it's more information. So we know that it happened in this area here, the mo majority of the volume. Okay, you're just going to see a big um, bar over here. Uh, on this candle. So you have no insight uh, at all to what occurred up here. Okay. So um, let's, uh, let's take a look here. All right. So we see our, our, uh, our pattern, we see some sideways action. And then right here is where we see the break at uh, 63.23, right around here. Okay. And we're going to see that the aggressive seller came in. Okay. We're going to see the order flow shift up here. Right, and we're just looking at historical best bid and offer right now, and that's it. Okay, we're not looking at any other data, but we're already gain, gaining understanding of structure here just by looking at this. Now, let's turn on the volume. Okay, where did the, the uh, volume trade? Where were the transactions? Okay, that's shown here in the volume dots. All right, so this is very indicative of a trending uh, market to the upside. We see more aggressive buying at higher highs, pulling the market uh, upwards. We see a shift here. Okay, we start to note aggressive sellers start to come in in this area here. Actually, there's a there's a phenomena here that uh, there's a little bit of the bullying of the market here, and there's some uh, spoofing that occurred in this area, and I'll show you that in just a minute. Okay. So um, this uh, really put the cap on things, and we're going to see the change here, right? And this is the kind of insight uh, and transparency that we need to understand the players and the, the um, uh, their their positions uh, in uh, in the market. Okay. So anyway, uh, we start to see the shift here. Okay. Now we come up here, and we we've tested this area twice. We can't even make a higher high up here. Okay. What about in this area? What, what, look at the aggressive buying up here. Okay. What about compared to over here? They're starting. They're, there's a lack of interest in buying. Okay. Now look at the sellers over in this area. They're they're pulling the price. They're pulling price down. Sellers are are coming in on the other side and getting interested. Okay. Let me zoom into this area here. Uh, this little top. Okay. And I, I just want to show you what we're displaying here at a more uh, micro level here okay so this is it's it's really simple stuff um, it's historical best bid and offer here okay this is a spread there's a spread widening here of a tick all right the here the, the tick is, uh, is is just one one wide right it, it it's, it's two here so you know if you hit the market buy button you'd get filled up here okay these dots show uh, the green dots are transactions. This is someone hit the aggressive or the market buy button, and uh, they took liquidity off of the best offer. Okay, and a green dot uh, uh, is painted here on the chart. Okay, so um, uh, we can zoom into this area here, in fact, and start to note exactly what occurred here. Okay, we're down at microsecond level. We can continue to zoom into nanosecond level. We're looking at billions of seconds here. Okay, uh, our complex event processor can handle that in real time. But note how when I zoom back out, because uh, we don't trade off of these times. So when I zoom back out, we're giving you the overall shape of, of the uh, uh, volume that, that took place here. Okay. In fact, we can use this data tip tool, hover over here, and it, it tells us a volume of six traded here. We get the date, the time, on the ask, and the volume. All right, so we know exactly what occurred here. We have the number of events, 
uh, down to the nano or basically unlimited uh, zoom levels. Okay, uh, and we have the overall understanding of uh, each individual um, uh, trade uh, event and volume. Okay, so a red dot, that's the opposite. That's an aggressive market sell that took liquidity off of the best bid. Okay, so that's all we're showing you here. Okay, now, it, so it's, 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 it's not complex at all. We're just showing you where the volume transacted. Now, if we start to zoom out, we're gonna note some of the displays here turn into this pie display. Well, what's occurring there, there are so many different transactions that took place uh, that we have to give you the overall understanding of what took place here. Okay, and we do that with this pie display. Okay, we can use that data tip tool and it, it tells us volume of 380 actually took place here. And it gives us the volume at the price level in terms of VWAP, right? So at uh, 63.25.15. Uh, all right, that's the overall uh, volume weighted average price. Okay, so that's the volume. And uh, now we're starting to understand where it took place, what type of volume. Okay, this is where we see the aggressor come in. Okay, this is a bigger player. There's no question about that. Okay, they they are dominating the market here, right? Uh, uh, and they they are um, uh, really uh, reversing the market in a, in a lot of senses here. Okay, it's initiating that reversal. Anyway, uh, we'll get into it in just a minute here. Uh, but uh, so now you can understand what you're looking at in Bookmap in terms of volume. Okay, and uh, here's that little area right here, okay? Uh, we were looking at this structure going across here, and uh, here's our breakdown, and we see the, the sellers come in, okay? Buyers on the way up, sellers on the way down. We are now trending, the trend has reversed, all right? We see the exhaustion up here, the lack of buying. We saw sellers come in here. Uh, we did get the retest, but uh, no buying. Okay, we even get a retest here. These are little setups that we look for all the time in the uh, advanced uh, live order flow analysis. Okay, looking for these little retests into the into the microstructure. Uh, you'd be hard pressed to see that uh, not only in the candlestick chart, even a footprint chart. Okay, even if you're studying uh, volume in a footprint chart, you're you're uh, you're not going to see this because this is uh, microstructural areas. Right, you're going to see the aggressor come in. You're going to see them, uh, uh, you know, hitting the bid, but it's going to be within a bar. You're not going to understand that price broke out of this little structure here. It exhausted up here. It broke the structure, and we're getting a retest. This is an excellent area for entering. Okay, if you're bearish. Anyway. That's enough on the volume. Uh, I think you guys get the picture. Uh, let's uh, take a look at the next level of information. Okay, and let's take the candlestick off because it's not helping us. Okay, all right. So uh, that's the um, that's the volume. Okay, so now um, uh, we see just historical best bid and offer and and traded volume. That's it. Okay, so we want to understand what's going on currently, though, in the market. What about the current picture of the market? We have the historical view here. Okay, well, let's zoom in for your four minute. Okay, we can quickly zoom and book map. You don't need to use these tools. You can just use your center mouse wheel. Uh, it uh, works really nicely and zooms in very, very quickly. Um, okay, so uh, here we see the price ladder. And uh, here are this, these columns here. All right, there's some volume columns over here that's showing uh, volume profile, uh, various volume columns. Uh, but the other two here are just a current order book, okay? One is a graphical representation of it here, um, and, uh, and the other uh, is um, uh, numeric values, okay? So we can see the numeric values here in the book. Okay? This is the limit order book. Right, and in fact, uh, I'm looking at uh, uh, Rhythmic here. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, Rhythmic and CQG um, offer unlimited depth for specific markets. Okay, Rhythmic also offer, offers it for CME. Okay, so all of these levels are live. Okay, if someone came, a larger trader came in here and placed a uh, hundred contracts up at 30 uh, or um, 63, uh, 16, well, you would see it in, in real time. 
okay? That is way far away from the, the 10 uh, on the bid and the offer that uh, uh, most platforms offer, okay? So anyway, uh, this is the limit order book. This is the auction, okay, where traders are lined up to, to deal, okay? This gives us a lot of insight to the depth of the market, where traders want to bid and offer, okay? Where, where they think it's a deal or, uh, you know, where they think it's uh, overpriced or underpriced. Uh, so they won't trade in these areas and they won't, like these traders up here, okay? They're waiting up here. They don't think it's a, they don't want to be a seller until price comes up to this area around uh, uh, 63, 11 and three quarters. Okay, buyers are down here at uh, 6303. Okay, so the problem here with this view, though, is that these numbers change. And then we have no clue of what happened historically. Okay, and that's where Bookmap solves this issue, because we take these numeric values, and in this window here, we have best bid and offer right here. Okay, and last traded volume is this number. Uh, but we're going to give the uh, value here of the... Um, Limit order book uh, graphically in the heat map. Okay, so let's turn on the heat map. Okay, so here here at uh, at 03, I mean sorry at 07, we see 64 contracts. All right, uh, here at uh, uh, 10 and uh, three quarters, we see 75, 76 contracts. Okay, so and there's a bright white area. Okay, it's high highest liquidity here on the uh, on the offer at the moment. Okay, we record this though. We take, we've given it a graphical representation. You can see the heat map changing here in real time, as these as these numbers uh, reflect that change. Okay, uh, but uh, what where this gets really interesting is we take this data and then transpose it on the chart historically. So now you have an understanding that uh, these traders up here at 09. Uh, they they started to uh, show interest, and then look how they're adding and pulling liquidity here. Okay, the grayscale goes dark. They're pulling. They're adding when it gets brighter. Okay, seems like a pretty pretty simple concept. It offers tremendous insight though uh, to what's going on. Let's just zoom out here for a minute. Look at the uh, look at the bid here. All right, there's a lot of buying interest down here. Okay, uh, it is pretty pretty deep. Uh, in fact, at 6301, there's a massive amount uh, down here. Okay, uh, we see uh, oh, probably around four or five hundred contracts here. Okay, this is the figure too, right? The, we have uh, 6300 even. Okay, so uh, we may come down and test into this area, and these guys may pull the majority of this liquidity, but this is very bullish. Okay, because previously. They were down here at the figure. Then as price came down, they started to jump into the book wanting to get ahead of these traders to get into the market. All right. So it uh, looks, looks pretty good. Now we're going to come down here and test these guys, and we're going to see if they stay in the book or not. Okay. We're going we're gonna to answer a question here. Is this real liquidity? Okay. Do they have the intent to trade here or not? All right. And let me bring down the, the dot size just uh, really quickly here. It's a little too big. Okay, we have a lot of volume trading today. Okay. Um, all right. Well, we came down into this area and look how look how they're starting to pull. All right. Some of this is trading in this area here at 03. All right. But then look at this guy here at 02 and a half, or these players at 02 and a half. They're pulling. Okay, so and then they're adding back in now as price goes away. Why would they do that? All right. Well, they they don't really have the intent to trade, but they're not, they haven't really made up their mind. Uh, they're 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 back in the book uh, because uh, they want to keep their their cue in the line, and they'll decide when price comes down toward them if they want to be a buyer or not. And that that'll we'll see that distinction between uh, kind of fake liquidity or the the intent not to trade versus the intent to trade. Okay, what would be an example of intent to trade? Let's zoom into this area here. Okay, all right, we trade right into high liquidity here, right into it. 
Okay, uh, let's let's uh, take a look at the numbers here. Okay, uh, here on the bid, 164 contracts. Well, it, here's our our flurry of uh, trades that took place. Okay, here's my over in my volume column here. I, I'm showing numeric value of 164. Wow. Okay, so these guys uh, very sincerely and truly had the intent to trade, okay? and they did. Okay, even more traded here. All right, so we have a, we have a, a really good understanding uh, where this larger player he got filled here. Okay. Now to gain insight to this, we're, we're, we we need we need to look at this contextually. But what we do know, and this is just factual information, there was a larger player here providing 165 164 contracts, and he traded. Okay. He is filled at 63.05. Now, as we zoom out, and what does that mean? Okay, it just means that this transaction took place. It doesn't mean the market's going to bounce and you know go you know uh, uh, a ballistics to the to the upside here. Um, I mean, we do see a turnaround. There's no question. Buyers start to step in here. Okay, uh, but we do rotate lower. Okay, well, what we do know. And what we're starting to read here okay, is just like volume profile, starting to understand the, vol the traded volume and where traders are actually transacting. Okay? We're understanding that, though, here uh, in the um, historical view of the order book. Okay? So they traded here. They were here actually earlier. And now we see interest. They're, they're, they're starting to come in here. Uh, and now we're, having, we're getting context here in this area. Okay. We know that there's a lot of buying interest. Okay, this is where the majority of the buyers are. Okay, now we're seeing a, a shift in the order flow as well. Okay, the transactions are good. I mean, it tells us a lot of information here. Okay, but the uh, uh, the limit order book here is telling us equally uh, just as much information, um, potentially even more with the intent of the trade, all right? So uh, this is the kind of insight and transparency you're gonna get uh, uh, viewing book map, uh, and then uh, uh, come to the advanced order flow webinars to uh, gain an understanding of how to put this context uh, and understanding uh, into, your, into your trading, all right? So uh, yeah, give book map a free trial. Uh, you get 14 days. Uh, and then uh, you get the education that comes along with it. Uh, anyway, I've got to jump uh, to the next webinar. Uh, good trading, guys, and we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, take care.